What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, but Cesar gets crypto, and we are talking about Link today. This one comes to us at the request of Stana. Stana, we're doing this one for you. I meant to do this earlier today, um, but as I said in my, my recent Ethereum Classic video, I had um, obligations that I had to tend to. I was literally in the middle of a video, and my daughter woke up crying, so I had to end it there. Um, and, you know, she, she just took a short nap today for whatever reason. But we're not here to talk about that we're here to talk about ta do some ta some analysis what i think about link first off from a fundamental perspective from what i know about link i think that it's it's a serious a very serious contender in the space um probably one of the most serious contenders in this space you know i heard i was watching i don't know if you guys are watching uh ben armstrong's crypto or not but you know that guy aj i I have mixed feelings on AJ, right? I, I like him. I like him as a person. I actually like him a lot. But but I have mixed feelings on like his knowledge of TA. But what I do think he is correct on is uh, I do think that this thing is going to go higher. I think that it, he said it was going to be a top five coin by the end of the uh, market potentially. And, you know, I agree with that. I think this thing definitely has um, top five, top ten potential in it for sure. I mean, what's it at now? It's What are, what are you at? You're pro are you in the top ten link? I forget. I don't think it is. I think it's in the top 20, maybe. Let's see. What are you at, Mr. Linky? 19, right in the top 20 there. With a market cap of 4.3 billion. This coin, I know it sounds crazy, but this coin really could see a 100x in this cycle. And that's a very high market cap for any crypto, for any for any asset in the world. It's a very high market cap, $430 billion. Um, or no, yes, that's what it would be, $430 billion. If, if we were to see 100x from the current price at 772, um, will it will it achieve that? Maybe, will it not? You know, maybe, but, but it's possible. If there was a coin in the top 20 right now to achieve a multi-hundred billion dollar market cap, I think Chainlink would be in the running for that for sure. Um, so this is a 100xable coin, if not a 10xable coin, 20, 30, 40, 50, you know, like it's, it is, it has a lot of potential for growth, even though it's a high market cap coin, which is which is nice to see because something like this, in my opinion, it's a more secure investment if there is such a thing in crypto. Um, we do have this little like sideways formation. You know, I don't think that it goes lower. I this this like honestly reminds me of a uh, Bitcoin cash kind of right, like just fr freeze frame. I know you guys know already uh, all the dragon riders out there. Let's see. Go to that. I mean, look at that, right? Like, like literally right there. You had your your flat base right here. You went slightly lower than the base, and then that was your low. And then here again, you went just a little bit below that that like base. If I put that line there, you went a little bit below it, and then off to the races. Well, link, and that was you were in that for about a year. Literally from like from this candle here, you were in this overall range. You weren't done moving down, but you were in the in this range since June, and you left it in June. You were in it for literally a whole year. We go back to Link USD on Coinbase here. You've been in this thing for a long time. You've been since May of twenty I mean, I guess really since yeah, since May of twenty twenty two. Here we are in September. It's been like a year and a half. <clears throat> Just under a year and a half, I think, right? If the math checks out on that. Uh, it's almost October. We'll call it a year and a half. Um, year and a half that you've been in this range. And volume is dying off. Volume is dying off. You know, So I think you are coming to a breakout one way or another, up or down, very soon. I personally wouldn't expect this thing to break out to the downside after this. If this was to break to the downside, you guys, if Link were to go below... I mean... <sighs> It's hard to say. I think this is a fake out. So I would say if Link were to go below about $5.40, um, especially on a closing weekly basis, that would be very, 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 very bad for Link. Um, and I don't expect that. Could it go back down around those areas? Could it go back to about $6 from here? Sure, it could. I don't know if it's time to buy yet, but we're going to go over that. You know, I just I, I wanted to kind of give a little intro into it. You know, I think we are in an, an accumulation phase. This is a very like long phase of accumulation and the volume's drying up. So the move is going to happen sooner or later. We are on the weekly basis. Sooner or later does not mean today. It means months from now 
quarters of a year from now, like not not today. It could happen today. It, it's it's been long enough. It could happen today, um, but it does not have to happen today. Looking at it on the weekly here, the RSI, I wouldn't expect anything different. Itself is neutral. Um, we are in the bullish area of control, but the last two times that we've done that, we've actually come out of it quickly. That's why I would say again, it might not be the best time to buy. Um, we could turn around from here for sure. It definitely could turn around from here. But overall, RSI on the weekly to me doesn't tell me much. Um, you are rejecting the bearish area of control. Or, uh, sorry, the the, the uh, oversold zone. Um, and you did reject the bearish area of control quite a bit as you've been rejecting the bullish area of control. So just a very overall neutral RSI, very overall neutral price action. So it doesn't really tell us much. Let's see if we get some more on the daily. So on the daily here, moving up, volume is increasing as we're moving up here, which is nice to see. Um, you are, man, this is a very strong looking daily RSI. I like that, man. I really, I really do like that. That's, that's beautiful. Um, you know, you see something like this, that's not as encouraging, right? You get, you get all this move and it's like, okay, that's a strong move. It's nice, but will it maintain? What I love about this is sure you didn't get like a straight pump, but you've maintained it. You actually bounced off of the bullish area of control, an area that you found resistance on once, twice, three times. And you bounced off it and you still maintain prices here, climbing higher with higher volume. I think it wants more. I think it wants more. And with that, you know, I would say it probably does break above. We're at about 773 right now. I bet it would break above $8.16, somewhere like on this like flat top here. Um, I don't think it breaks out of this range right now, personally. That's just my opinion. Things can change though. That, that definitely can change. Um, I just don't know if it's go time. I don't know if it's go time just yet. Man, that four hour RSI is strong as hell too, man. It might be go time. Um, we'd, I'd want to see more volume come in. You know, you can't really see it, but on the weekly, there's still it still looks like decreasing volume. We're on the daily, you're having increasing volume, giving validity to this move. Maybe you do just move up a little bit higher. What would that take us on this fib here? From top to bottom, you know, up to about 9.38 maybe even up to 1072 something like that does that does that make sense man that would be out of this range huh so maybe maybe we don't i don't know this <laughs> let's see here let's just see let's do one more thing real real quick i'm going to leave a line right here actually at the 1272 there which is right at the top here and then i'll leave a line here at this uh 1618 as well if i can get it man i'm just like going back and forth there we go close enough i don't know what that was about um, from low to high here, low to high here. Look at that, man. Bounced right off the sweet spot, guys. Right off it. You've seen it time and time again, right? We've, we've talked about this, the sweet spot right there below. Just because it went below the 618 doesn't mean anything detrimental. Um, you actually found support the first week. You didn't break below it the second week. And then finally the third week you did close below it. Um, fourth week you did, but then you just had this positive reaction afterwards. Um, you held the line. You really held the line. You held the zone. I don't know, man. Maybe you are getting ready to break out of this. This could be big shit for Link. Like, guys, this this actually really could be big shit for Link right now. This is hard, man. Oh, this is really hard. I'm I'm hmm. I'm not invested in Link. I don't plan to personally. Um. Because it is a very high market cap coin and it can 100x, but I just, you know, I'm, I'm not 100% positive that it will, but it has the potential. It definitely has the potential to. Um, if any coin were to reach half a trillion dollars in market cap or more than $200 billion in market cap, I think Link is deserving of that. Um, definitely deserving of that. But even by the end of this cycle, um, let alone like throughout its span, but, but uh, I want you guys to know too, if I haven't made it clear, whenever I talk about these price predictions, almost always it's for the end of this cycle. I'm not talking about what it's going to achieve in its lifetime. That, that I don't think anybody um, has the knowledge to make accurate. I mean, other than for Bitcoin, I can, I can bet that Bitcoin will reach a price of multiple, like tens of millions of dollars within our lifetimes. Like within, unless you're like, uh, like 70 or older. I mean, for tens of millions, maybe if you're like 60 or older, maybe, maybe you won't see that. Maybe, but like guys, 20 years from now, like Bitcoin is going to be several millions of dollars, um, if not much more than that, much more than that. I don't know about hundreds of millions, but tens of millions is in the cards, especially I think even by, by the end of my life. Um, and if not, like I just think, you know, maybe the world ended. That's why not. But but I'm getting off on a tangent here. What I want to say before I keep getting distracted is that this uh, 
whenever I talk about my price predictions, it's not about the lifetime, it's about this cycle, okay? So, so don't, don't think that that's the cap, right? Link could be worth more than $400 billion at some point. Maybe it gets to a trillion dollar market cap, I have no idea, but we're not talking about that right now. It hasn't proved itself yet for that kind of status. Um, I'm talking cycle to cycle here, and I'm talking about the end of the cycle. So right now we're at kind of the beginning of the bull cycle for Link, right? Even if you buy here, this is one of those, this is why I got distracted, okay? Because, because I don't chase things. I don't. I really, I, I, and every time I say something, there's always an exception, okay? There are always exceptions. This might be one of those times where it's an exception to chase, maybe. Because think about it like this, right? Yes, yes, yes. From its most recent low to where it is now, it's up 35%. Yes, yes it is. That's, that's not a good time to buy, right? But if we're looking at this thing from like an overall perspective, you are literally potentially buying at the most perfect time, right? From this move down, you're buying in this range of accumulation. Like if you, if like by the end of the cycle, this thing does form a new high and you're like, I bought down here. No one's going to care. Did you buy down here? Did you buy down here? Like you bought down here. Yes, you'd be chasing if you bought right now. And I'm not buying right now. Um, it's not in me, but I, I would give this kind of a green light to chase. Um, we bounced off the 618, you guys. Very, 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 very positive reaction with this. I'm drawing it again. Not meaning to. You're already above your 236. If you can get above this 69, I mean, I'm I'm serious. Um, if you can get above this 100, really, but if you can get above this 0 0.069, which you, you might be finding resistance at it now, if you can get above this, the 1272 is in full effect, and then potentially even the 1618. And if you break above this 1272, you guys, you're breaking out of this range overall, right? If you see the highest weekly close, signs like that, right? You're breaking out, that's a sign. You are getting the highest weekly close that you've seen in a year and a half, that's a sign, right? Volume starts to come in, we get more volume, like volume overall increasing on the weekly, that's a sign um, that, that it's not going lower, that it is done accumulating. I, I mean, we've got the higher low right here. Can we form a higher high? And it's a perfect, right in the sweet zone, you guys. Um, I don't know how to feel about Link. With, with how everything is right now in crypto, you know, I've got some people who are like inherently bearish right now and have, have maintained a bearish stance and that's fine, right? This could be a bull trap. It really could be because all it is is a lower high and it really could be a bull trap. This is a pretty extended bull trap, but hey, you're in an area where you found resistance time and time again and it looks like right now you have three days left in this week, but you're potentially finding resistance here again. You could even close this week here, come down next week, and then end up coming up. You know, there's all kinds of wacky stuff going on, but this this looks legit to me, man. This daily RSI, the four-hour RSI, the weekly is uncertain. It's not really saying enough, in my opinion. That's why this weekly close is going to be a big deal. Um, you know, you've got the end of the month coming in. Shout out to, to Vito, because uh, he actually brought that up. I was just thinking about Friday being the end of the week, but but... It's going to be the last day for, for stocks to trade in the month. It's going to be the end of the quarter. And then literally by Sunday, it will be the end of the month for crypto as well. So big, big week to close on here. Seeing this kind of price action, man, it makes me bullish. Like I, I, I feel like it's not definitive one way or another yet, but I want to say that it is going to go to this line here at about $9.36. And I, I'm even inclined to say that it's going to go above that and we're finally going to break out of this range. Mind you, the last time that we saw something like this, maybe not the last time, but one of the times we saw something like this where we were in a range of accumulation and we broke out of it, we had a very intense move, but we also had very intense volume and not every situation like this is going to break out like this. You know, they don't have to, it can break out more, it can break out less, you know, but, but the volume is substantially higher than anything we experienced in this range as we're breaking out, you know, as it should be. And and you can have weird volume. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to work like that, but it's nice to see that kind of stuff, right? And there's there's a whole lot of things that are nice to see for Link right now. I'm, I'm gonna say it again, I would not chase things. I, I never do, it's not in me. I say never, I normally don't, but this is one of those very, very rare exceptions where you'd be chasing 
but you're not chasing, man. You're not, you're not chasing. You're in this range still. You're, you're literally, again, if it ends up being a higher high, it's at 774 right now. If it ends up being worth over a hundred dollars by the end of the cycle and you tell someone you bought in this range down here, they're going to think you're genius, right? Now, if you buy here, it turns around and it goes back to $6 or $5 or lower. Um, you, you might not feel so smart, but I don't think take solace in the fact, and in my opinions are just my opinions. They're just that they're not, they're not facts. They're not prophecies, but I very much don't believe that we're going to break down. Um, because as good as a breakout would be to the upside, a breakdown would be very detrimental to link. And I don't think I, man, I don't think that's going to happen. Look at this, right? You've got this shelf over here. You, you're, you literally found support on it. You've been lingering here. Volume is dying off. You're not going lower. I think you would have gone lower already if you were to like I it's been holding a very high market cap of 4.3 around 4 to 5 billion dollars right for the last year and a half just beautiful man very very beautiful um you know I retrospectively I wish I kind of traded this thing cuz it looks like a pretty nice range to trade but whatever um, I've just been stock, stockpiling cash and getting ready for this cycle. You know, I definitely, I do have a trading account, a small trading account, but I don't trade link. Maybe I'll have to start um, after its breakout, you know, <laughs> but uh, let's see here. I don't know if I have anything else that I want to say. Um, I hope I wasn't too confusing. I know I feel like I got a little bit all over the place, but if I had to guess with link right now, let's see. Yeah, maybe you're coming down a little bit, but man, I think, I think the coming weeks, uh, potentially by the end of this year, it's going to be a big, big difference from the price that it's at now. This this might be one of those front runners in the market, like starts doing good um, soon. Like this could be the beginning, you guys. This really could be the beginning of what is going to take us up and out of this range here. Um, and it might not. You know, there's there's decent odds that it's not as well. It's been resistance for the last year and a half. It's not an easy line to break, but you're getting some of these strongest readings as of now. The week has three days left to close. You're getting some of the strongest readings in your RSI that you've seen throughout this entire range. Okay. If you can get a weekly close, maybe it's this week, maybe it's next week, maybe it's the week after. If you can get a weekly close above this, that's big shit. If you can get price that's above this line, that is big shit, okay? If you reject from here, it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. Okay, whatever. It rejects, you have a chance to buy basically back at the same price, maybe even a little bit lower. But I'm, I'm going to end it there. You know, I, I feel confident in saying that you don't chase things. It's a good rule to follow, but this is one of those exceptions. It's up 11% this week. It's up like 30% from its recent low here. I would chase the hell out of this thing if it was something that I was interested in. You know, maybe I wouldn't throw all my money in it right now. Maybe I'd do like a quarter of it, wait and see how it goes like over the next couple days, see if there's a little bit of a pullback. This four hour RSI looks very, very strong, you guys. The daily RSI looks very, very strong. And you're just now in the overbought zone. Like I this is different, man. This is different. I don't think it's gonna stop here. And I do think that it is gonna go at least somewhere above this high here. Um, and then, you know, we can see from there, but as long as your volume keeps building on a daily time frame like this, as you're getting higher highs and then on a weekly, if you can get weekly volume, that's bigger, like at least like something that's like this, if not bigger than any of that stuff, um, that would be, that would be pretty nice to see. Let's see what it's doing on Binance. Yeah. Yeah. Get some more sizable volume, some shit like this back here, right? Get something like that. I mean, look at that, right? You're moving sideways. You got a lot of volume and then boom, that's whenever you broke out of this range and you went up, get some volume in and get above this purple line, man. Like it, this could be, this could be some big shit. You don't even need to get above the purple line. I'm sorry. Just get above, really get above about $9 and 36 cents and close above $8 and 77 cents. Close above that, man. You're close. You're a dollar away at the moment, which isn't that close, you know, if it's if it's under ten dollars, but still um, a lot of potential right now. I feel like I'm just like going in circles at this point, so that's normally where I end the video. If I had to surmise this whole kind of analysis, I would say green light for link, man. Green light for link. If it goes lower, just buy more. That's that's my opinion on it right now. Very interesting stuff. I'm excited to see what this thing does. I might have to pick some up, man. Honestly, I, I don't know. I've talked myself into it a little bit because I do think it has good potential. But I'm going to end it there, you guys. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Thumbs ups are always appreciated. If you uh, would like to subscribe, that's always appreciated as well. Thank you guys for coming, and I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.